How's it going everybody? My name is Alex and today we're going to be talking about the current standing of the copyright system on YouTube and just how bad it currently is. So, this was all sparked, before we get started, from the Mumbo Jumbo problem which happened recently where 250 of his videos got flagged. I believe that is the number. Please correct me if I'm wrong but don't be harsh about it. So, today we're going to be talking about how I think so many videos got copyrighted or within the space of about 10 minutes, how YouTube can prevent it, and just a bit more about how it currently works and how bots exist. So, first of all, it's important to understand how copyright actually works on YouTube. There are two types of copyright. There are content ID and there's the uh, copyright submission form. Content ID is the copyright that's actually run by YouTube itself. It is a bot that goes around YouTube and smartly looks at videos and sees for any music you're using, if you have licenses for that music, etc, etc. Now, a lot of people blame the content ID system for all of the reporting and problems that are on YouTube, but this is actually not the case. The main problem is actually the copyright form. Um, because, and we'll get into that a bit more in a bit, but the content ID system is actually fully automatic while the copyright form is set up by specific owners of companies and things to report videos and things like that, and it's not as stable. Um, YouTube gets a lot of flack for their content ID system, which I think is unwarranted. I think it's great, and I think this is actually the true perpetrator of all of the problems on YouTube at the moment. So we're going to get into this. Uh, you should be now looking at a Google search. This is how you find the copyright claim uh, form, uh, basically. I'm just making sure, yeah, we're on the right page. Um, so the first result is the content ID claim. Not what you want. If you scroll down, there is submit a copyright takedown notice, YouTube help. This is the problem, child. If you click submit a copyright claim, you'll be taken to this page. You click I'm not a robot because... You know, it's a simple capture and that's how you get into the website. This is where it all begins. Logged into your YouTube account, you can click copyright infringement and you can click that you are currently being copyright infringed upon or my company. It depends on if you are an entity or a single person. And down here, you have to fill out this entire form, all of the reasons, sign your name, click I am not a robot, send it off. This form itself is perfect. There is nothing wrong with this form at all. Um... It's what drives the form, which is the problem. The thing that runs this form is a report abuse API. And for those of you who don't know what an API is, it is a system that developers use to integrate certain aspects of website software and apps into their website software and apps. Um, companies often sell these, but in this case, the YouTube one is free. And we're going to get into why that's a problem now. Over inside of the API, you have lots and lots of useful, useful things, but you may, be, may notice that we're looking at one in particular, the Videos Report Abuse API string. What this does is if you want to report a video through an API, all you have to do is get this API and set it up to send off reports to the YouTube system. And it completely skips over the other stuff and goes straight to the um, auto report system. It, it, it doesn't run through content ID or anything because they're two different entities. Um, there, are, there are a couple of things we're gonna talk about and I'll bring up a content ID a few more times, but most of this is gonna focus on um, why it's a bad idea and then how to fix it. Um, what this does, as I've already explained, or rather what it requires, all it requires is the video ID. When you have the video ID, you are directly linked to that video and you can then shut off pretty much that video. There is not much you need. As you can see here, the only stuff that actually returns uh, errors is an invalid abuse reason, a rate limit, and forbidden. Uh, forbidden is just a 403 error, which means that something went around, or if the video is not found. So these two are the only ones that actually stop bots. 
Invalid abuse reason is a little bit complicated because really the only reason for abuse in this case that you need is the copyright claim and that's just a single input. Uh, the rate limit however is a genuinely pretty good one and stops people being spam reported on a single video but only on a single video. You can report multiple videos as much as you want but you cannot report a single video more than once um, I believe or it might be more than twice from the same account. Uh, as you can see, it needs a couple of things. You need the video ID, the reason ID, the secondary, you don't need the secondary reason ID, and comments and language are not necessary. Really, you only need two parameters. That's bad. That is really, really bad. And I cannot stress that enough, that you only need two parameters in an API to report a video. You can use a two-factor authentication system when you are running an API like this. However, YouTube has that option to have the ability for that disabled. Now, how bad is this is that I was able to whip up a basic program in about two to three hours. This program searches for, uh, then gets and removes or submits a copyright claim. Now you may notice that I actually only have the search function in here and that's because I didn't really want to uh, create a an actual bot to show on video because people you know could copy that off and whatnot. So all we have here is a search bot. This search is for only things on my channel so we don't accidentally search for anybody else and it only searches for one specific video which I have not uploaded. So this program actually returns nothing, but if I run the debug real quick, you'll see that there are no errors and it would actually, in fact, work. That's how easy it is to make one of these bots. Now, how can YouTube fix this? Simply remove it. It is not necessary to any API that is actually useful, and the only reason it is used is, from my eyes, is for abuse. The only single legitimate reason I might think it could be used is for an MCM, um, sorry, an MCN to report videos that all of their creators may have uploaded, you know, and maybe about, but arguably you can do that manually with a report system and it isn't really necessary. There are millions of ways to do this. Um, the fact that it's there in the first place is a problem. That is the initial problem. There are ways around it. If YouTube doesn't want to fully remove it, then run it through the content ID system. So people submit a report and then the content ID system listens to that video, watches it, sees if the data is correct, and then, and only then, if it finds without a reasonable doubt that data is within that video that shouldn't be within that video, then it can content strike it. But this, this just goes straight to content striking and that's such a big problem. Um, that is fundamentally how a dumb bot works. They find the video with the metadata required inside of it, and then they run this script, and that's all it is. That is everything it needs to be. Now, do I blame YouTube fully? No. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this API was actually more made for them, and they just released it publicly, but it, this, this does need to be removed. Um, maybe not fully. Might make a couple of big companies complain, but at this point, YouTube really needs to be looking out for the creators more than it needs to be looking out for the big companies. Because this, A, doesn't affect its advertising, and B, only affects the creators. Um, if, this was to if this was to affect uh, YouTube itself, this would probably be a different story, and they would have removed it a long time ago. This is a problem, YouTube. This is a big problem. Because while this exists and while this is public and available to everybody, content uh, YouTubers are going to keep getting mass striked. And it's not fair to any of the YouTubers because they lose out on potentially thousands of pounds and have, you know, a strike put on their channel. It's really not fair and really uncool. And that's pretty much it. It's such a small problem. I actually thought this video would be longer than I made it, but that's it. That's how small this problem is. It is one single string of code on a website that is screwing over millions of YouTubers. 
And in the very rare off chance that a YouTube developer sees this video, remember to change the ID type so that they can't keep using the previous API. All right? Because then you still have the same problem. It's just hidden now. But anyway, guys, thank you for listening to my long rant. Please share the video and get this as aware as possible. I want as many people to know about this API as possible. This video is not monetized for obvious reasons. And I don't really care to make money off of it. It's it's here to show everybody just how easily this problem could be fixed. Thank you all for watching and share it out. Peace.